uh, mixtures of uh, catalyst, carbon, and the membrane. Here you have the membrane to assure the contact, the, the continuous, and here we have the cathode. So you have mixtures of <coughs> platinum, carbon, and the membrane. So you, you, you press all this together, and then you have the, your MEA, which is the cell. Okay? <coughs> so from here, you have oxygen arriving, here you have hydrogen arriving, and uh, if you repeat this one on top of the other, you have the stack. Okay, let's see now, but always, there are always problems here. So, let me see now. What is the time? <coughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> And uh, <coughs> there are many problems which, uh, in fact, uh, have so far prevented the <coughs> operation of this uh, <coughs> fuel cell. Now, let's take a moment again our the model of the catalyst. The model of the catalyst, you know, is, uh, we have saying, that we have uh, a carbon support, and here you have very small particles platinum, which is the catalyst. So what this platinum <coughs> does, <coughs> for instance, in the case of, uh, of hydrogen, hydrogen uh, the cathode absorbs hydrogen, okay, and then the various hydrogen atoms can be recombined to form H2, or vice versa, okay? This is the main action of the catalyst. <coughs> However, suppose that instead of hydrogen here, or rather, instead of having pure hydrogen, we may have hydrogen with something else. For instance, uh, let's call it something like X, okay? Now, suppose that the, this X is, uh, uh, has affinity with the catalyst, we will have that at this point, this point, this point, instead of having absorption of hydrogen, you have absorption of this X. impurity. Okay? <clears throat> and if this happens, what that means? What is that this catalyst here, this one here, and this one here are not active anymore. So the, the catalyst action now is decreased. And this impurity, they say they are uh, poisoning. the catalyst. Okay, and one of these impurity, very common, is uh, CO, carbon oxide. Okay? Now, you can ask, uh, well, why we have to worry? Why is carbon oxide there? It is possible to have carbon oxide because you remember that hydrogen is not a resource. So we have to, to prepare it. And now if we, if we prepare hydrogen from water, <coughs> electrolysis, then we have pure hydrogen. But if we, for instance, prepare hydrogen 
by cracking of uh, hydrocarbons we have formation of hydrogen but also carbon oxide if we prepare carbon by <coughs> excuse me hydrogen by <coughs> the cracking of uh, of maybe uh, cracking of carbon we have uh, formation of hydrogen plus carbon oxide okay so if now the, our fuel is coming from uh, <clears throat> hydrogen produced by, by hydrocarbons, we have to eliminate carbon oxide. Because you see here that uh, this is the <coughs> a curve which gives you uh, the voltage versus current. So this is the typical characteristic of a fuel cell. And you see, when we have pure car hydrogen, we have this nice curve here. But as soon as we have uh, carbon oxide, see, even here is only 20 parts per million of co cobalt uh, carbon oxide, and you have a decrease in performance. When you have to 250 parts per million, which is not very much, the cell completely fails. So this is one of the first problems of fuel cells. Because uh, <coughs> in some case, hydrogen is produced by, by, by cracking of hydrocarbons. For instance, suppose that we want to have, as we will see, a fuel cell car. Okay? Very good idea. Because if we have, we have a fuel cell car, <coughs> we can have uh, an operation of the fuel cell without any pollution, only water. But we have to refill the car. Nowadays, when you have, uh, you don't have where to refill the car, you just stop the gas station and refill it. Okay. But if you want to have uh, in a, <coughs> a hydrogen car, you have to refill the car, so you can do two things. Either to use a, a big tank of hydrogen in your car, and then when the, when the hydrogen is finished, you have to go and refill the, 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 the tank. Or it would be much better if you do the, as you did before. You just go to the gas station and have some benzene. But for doing that, you need to add to the car not only the fuel cell, fuel cell, but also an hydrogen generation generator, which can be cracking of, of, of your, of your uh, oil. But in between, you must may add a purifier. <coughs> because you want to purify your hydrogen from the oxygen, for the carbon oxide. So you understand that now a fuel cell car is not forming only by fuel cell, but by di this combination. So in most of the case, fuel cells are not alone, but they work as a, as a, a complex of uh, component. So it's not just a fuel cell, but it's a system. Okay? Because you want to, to, to solve this problem. Okay, this is one main problem. Another problem is here. It may happen. Now you see again that you have here the situation of our main, uh, our MEA. So this is the membrane. This is your carbon with the value of particle, uh, <coughs> the... <coughs> of platinum, this is the other part, but what will happen that some hydrogen can go through the, through the membrane, crossover that I mentioned before. So some hydrogen, instead of being re 
it be oxidized here, can go through the membrane. And this will be very bad because uh, in this case, uh, <coughs> you can have uh, <coughs> platinum dissolution and, uh, from, from here, okay? Because you have a reduction of platinum. <coughs> and uh, you see that after a while, all the, most of the, of the, some particle will be uh, eliminated, will fall down. Some other will be bigger because you have some aggregates. Okay. So you have, in this case, uh, the so-called platinum dissolution, platinum loss. This is also very bad, okay, you can, as you can imagine, because you lose activity of your cell. So, so far we have discussed about uh, this uh, <coughs> Uh, <coughs> polymer electrolyte uh, fuel cell, which is uh, <coughs> the most uh, <coughs> common, but I have, uh, there is a modification of this polymer electrolyte fuel cell, which is a, po a, a, a direct alcohol fuel cell. Okay? So as we will see how this fuel cell uh, behaves, how it operates, but uh, for a while, this uh, was a very popular idea because uh, <clears throat> I told you that one of the problems for uh, having um, maybe a car, hydrogen car, is the refilling system. So you have to, if you have to use it, uh, uh, a pure hydrogen car, you have to, to store the hydrogen. Like now you store your, your gas in a gas tank of your car. But the gas tank of your car is just very small. It doesn't occupy a very large area. But it, now if you want to use um, a hydrogen, you must uh, store the hydrogen. Suppose that you have to store it in a tank. The tank uses a much larger volume than your normal uh, gasoline reservoir, right? And also, if you want then to, and also maybe if you want the customer to buy a fuel cell car, you have to give to the customer the same facility that the, that the customer has now. As I say, now if you're driving for a while and then you finish